In this demonstration, we're going to look at configuring IP version 6. So what I've done here, I've come up my Windows 2012 box. All I'm going to do is issue an IP config. Hit return, and as we can see here, we get some information back relating to IP version 6. Another way to get information, I can run the get hyphen net IP address commandlet. And when we hit the enter key, it gives us near enough the same information. If we scroll up a bit, we do get quite a bit more information. But near enough, we've got an IP version 6 address. And we've got an IP version 4 address. So at this point here, we'll just come into Server Manager. And within Server Manager, we'll go to Local Server. And on Local Server, what we'll get is we'll get some information relating to this machine. So what we'll do here is we'll just come to Ethernet. Then what we'll do is we'll just come into the properties of our Ethernet adapter. Then what we'll do is we'll come to IP version 6 and we'll select the properties. So as we can see, we're currently getting our IP addresses and our DNS information automatically. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll put in a valid IP version 6 address on our lab network. So we'll put in our IP version 6 address. So we've got FD00, quadruple A, quadruple B, quadruple C, a couple of colons, which are indicating lots of zeros, and then colon A on the end of that. Going for a 64-bit subnet prefix, and we're going to go to point to ourself as our DNS server. So we'll select OK. Then we'll select close, and then we'll select close. So now what we've done is we've specified an IP version 6 address. So the next thing to do is to do it on our other server as well. So what we'll do is we'll just go to the console of LonServe2. So on LonServe2 we'll do exactly the same thing. We'll go to local server. So what we'll do now is we'll just come down to the Ethernet adapter again. Right click, go to our properties, go to IP version 6, click the properties, and what we want to do here is we want to specify an IP address. Now what we've done is specify FD00, quadruple A, quadruple B, quadruple C. Again, a couple of colons indicating lots of zeros. Number 15, same subnet prefix as LonDC1, and we're specifying LonDC1 as our DNS server. So we'll select OK, select Close, and select Close. So the next thing to do is to test all of this. So let's launch a PowerShell. And then what we'll do here is we'll just issue an IP config. Hit return. Now what we can see is we can see the IP address we typed in. So the next thing to do here is we'll just send a ping just to verify that this is indeed working. So we'll just clear off the screen and issue our ping. So we'll do a ping hyphen six for IP version six on DC one. Hit return. And as we can see there, we are getting a reply back. So that's great, and we'll also do a ping with IP version 4 as well, just to prove that IP version 4 is also still working. So we'll type in ping hyphen 4 lon dc1, hit return, and as you can see, we're getting IP version 4 reply back as well. And that's the end of this demonstration of configuring IP version 6. Thank you.